starts off as a phone call offering to help you sell your timeshares, leading to a financial nightmare for many consumers. Joanne Purton explains in tonight's Don't Waste Your Money report. It is often because of financial problems that people are trying to unload their vacation home or timeshare property. So it's easy to see why when someone offers to help sell it, they would jump at the help. Patricia and Art are timeshare owners facing similar ordeals, and they both say the craziness all started with a phone call and a promise. They guarantee that they will sell your um, timeshare for you. They'd say, well, we, uh, we hear you got a timeshare for sale. We have a buyer for you. And both were asked to do the same thing. They wouldn't do anything unless you gave them the money up front. They want uh, money up front off of a credit card. That is a huge red flag, according to the Better Business Bureau. Beware big time. But excited about dumping their vacation properties and the extra expense that came along with them, Patricia and Art paid the fees. And each time, they say the same thing happened. After that, it was... Never heard from them. You would call there. They would not answer the phone. They just took my money and and claimed they would sell the timeshare, and they haven't done anything. The Better Business Bureau says they were targets of one of the top scams operating in the country. When you talk about the total market, you're talking millions. Melanie Ducanel is the president of our local BBB. The agency has been flooded with complaints from people all over the country, timeshare owners saying the same thing as Art and Patricia. They get a phone call from a company with a hard-to-resist offer, promising, we'll sell your timeshare immediately. We have interested buyers and claiming they can close in 30 days. The Better Business Bureau says once timeshare owners pay the fee, they never hear from the companies again, and their properties certainly aren't sold. That's what happened to Art and Patricia. Months went by. Their phone calls went unanswered. Their emails were not returned. I got nothing for the money I spent. The BBB says others have been conned into turning over their certificate of ownership to the scammer. Which now, the scammer can now replicate and try to sell it again. Even though there really is no ownership by the scammer. And that leaves you without proof of ownership. So what do you do if you want to sell your timeshare? Well, the BBB recommends selling through your resort management company that oversees the property. There are also independent timeshare brokers, but just be sure to check them out first with the BBB. Or maybe the easiest and best way to sell? Talk to friends and family to see if they're interested. As for Art, he was able to dispute one of the charges on his credit card, but he's still out a couple thousand dollars. And Patricia is out 1500 expensive lessons. If they're asking you for money up front, then hang up the phone. The Florida Attorney General's office filed a lawsuit against two of the advanced fee companies, including the one Art used, and is looking into the company Patricia paid. We have provided more information on how to avoid this kind of timeshare scam and more tips on selling your timeshare at WXYZ.com. I'm Joanne Purton. Back to you. All right. Thank